Hi and welcome, thank you for joining. Today I'm going over Microsoft Word 2016, specifically with inserting and formatting graphics. Now the reason we need to know this is because everyone inserts graphics onto Microsoft Word and sometimes it doesn't really look very good on the uh, Word document, so I'm going to go over some different ways to change the layout, the height, the position, and then actually add some uh, artistic effects to them. And so there's basically two uh, ways that you can insert w uh, pictures onto Word. You can either go to an image search on the, an internet browser and copy and paste, or you can uh, do it all internally from Word using the files on your computer. I will be showing you the latter today. So let's get started. So I have a Microsoft Word document here. Uh, what's on the document isn't really important. Rather, what is uh, going to be added to the document is important. So let's say right here where it says this year, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. It says this year. I'm going to click right before there. Now I'm going to insert a picture onto this page. And so if I go to the Insert tab and under the Illustrations group, I can see pictures listed here, and this is the icon. So if I click pictures, it's going to bring up a pictures dialog box, and then I just have to choose the location of the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and get that picture now. And I see right here is where my picture is located. And so uh, you can see the different display. I'm going to use uh, this picture right here of Antarctica, and I'll double click that, and it'll insert it right into the document. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to zoom back out so you can see what we're looking at. And so first thing we see is that the picture inserted right into the document. It's a pretty large picture. It's taking up most of the page. So I want to actually change the way that this picture looks first off. So I inserted the picture. Now I see that whenever the picture is selected, I see that picture tools format tab is up here. Now if I deselect the picture, you'll notice that will go away right you don't see that anymore but whenever I have that picture selected I can tell because picture tools is right there and the format tab is right below it so uh, we also notice the handles on each of the corners of the picture and then I also see right over here is the layout options and so I'm gonna click on layout options right here and I'm gonna choose uh, I'm gonna look over these options which is in line with text meaning it's not going to uh, uh, adjust the text at all around the picture and then I see square. Now if I click square here, we see that nothing really happens on the page and that's because our image is so big right now. And I'm gonna show you the difference of how that would look if our image was smaller. But first thing I need to do is make the image smaller. So in the picture tools format tab, in the far right group over here called size, you can see the height right there, which is 4.33. I'm gonna change that to 2.25 and press enter. Okay, notice that uh, it scaled it down. It also decreased the width at the same time. Now we can see that the text is being wrapped around in a square fashion of this picture. Now let's say I go back and choose in line with text. We can see how it will affect it where the text is now in line with the picture. So I don't want that. I do want the square option from before. But I want to make sure that you notice the difference of what that actually did to our image. And so now what I want to do is I actually want to change the way this uh, object is being shown on the page. And I'd want to do that with a specific uh, relation to the position of the actual document on the page. So um, I'm going to change uh, the horizontal alignment right relative to the margin. And so in the format tab, in the arrange group, we see this button, which is position. And so I see this right here. Uh, now I don't really use these options too much here. I typically go to more layout options because I can see the exact position of where it'll end up on the page. And so I can make it uh, horizontal due to the alignment, book layout, absolute position, or relative position. Vertical can be alignment, absolute position, or relative posi position. So on this one, I'm going to change the horizontal alignment and I want it to be right relative to the margin, meaning I want my picture to display over here on the right side and line it up with the margins on the right. So I'm gonna change the alignment right here and I'm gonna change it from left because we could see it's left on the column right now. And I'm gonna change it right relative to the margin, right? And if I click that and click okay, we now see that the picture gets shifted to the right relative to the margin. Now, a great thing about Word is that we could actually change a lot of the artistic effects within the uh, picture as well. 
And so I see in the format tab, we see the adjust group over here, as well as picture styles. This is going to be uh, where we can change different things within our picture. And so I see in picture effects button right here, down here is where soft edges is located. And I kind of wanted to highlight that one today. Now soft edges is great because it'll add a softer edge around uh, the entire uh, rim of the picture. So you can see if I do 10 point soft edge right here, we see after I click it, the image now has that soft edge. And I'll zoom in just a little so you can see it. There we go. And uh, next, I could actually change the way that this uh, picture looks entirely. You could think of this as uh, similar to maybe a Prisma filter or Instagram filter or you know even a Snapchat filter or something like that. And um, I could go over here to the Adjust group, still in the Format tab, and go to Artistic Effects and actually change the way that this picture looks entirely. So you can see as I hi as I hover over them, the name appears below the actual. Uh, uh, name of the picture. The last one was called markers. This one's called paintbrush. And you can see as I hover over them that um, also the picture itself uh, changes as well. So let's say I like this one, mosaic bubbles. I click that and now we can see after a minute, there we go. It has loaded onto our page. We can see how that picture looks. I'll zoom in just a little bit more so you can see it. And so there we go. Now we can see how basically our pictures can react not only to our text, but then we can go in and uh, manipulate and change the pictures a lot more after they are, um, once we get it to the right size and position on our page. So that's how you uh, format pictures and uh, adjust uh, and rather insert the pictures and format them onto Microsoft Word. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, put it in the comment section. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.